These days, you have a lot of different ways to create a website. Some of them are complicated, heavy and hard to maintain. And on the other hand, you can order a professional company to make it for you, which takes all this work off your shoulders. But costs are starting to rise at the rapid pace. I need to make a new version of my website that will support creating a blog posts and it needs to meet a couple of my key expectations. First, and probably the most important, is it needs to be free. I don't want to spend money on it if I don't have to. Also, it needs to be SEO friendly and fast for the best user experience. The last two lesser important factors are this site, this project, has to be easy to manage and maintain, and also a good looking, well, at least decent, because I at creating user interfaces. Now, first major decision that I had to make was to choose a technologies that would lay down a foundation for the future of this project. Previously, I was choosing Svelte and I have to say I like it, even though this is a front-end framework. But I feel like it is a little bit too complicated for this project. It would be too heavy and my render times would be higher. There is also an issue with managing the content on the site. I I could use some headless CMS solution, but I am not really a fan of them, so bye bye Svelte. Next, I started reading about the static site generation, and I have to say, it was looking really compelling for me. But how would I manage my content on the website? This is the part where I stumbled across Astro. They even have an official tutorial how to use it to create a blog page. There, I could use Markdown for creating the content for my posts, and Markdown is a really great markup language for creating such content. I can easily say that this is an industry standard. There is only one issue though. How will I manage the content? Add posts, update it or delete it. Here GitHub comes into action. It is great for managing content. I will just create a new commit with my changes and I'm covered. Versioning everything. Even when I f and will have to unroll the changes, it would be really easy. Right now, three out of five of my key requirements are covered. The last two we are going to address shortly during the further development. So actually, I started from creating a new project and editing some pre-generated files. Being a lazy developer that I am, I didn't want to create everything from scratch. So I thought my previous website version had some decent styling already. Let's use that. I was using their tailwind CSS with Daisy UI for styling, so I have included them and started copying the components to this new project. This covers my good looking requirement. I went through hell while styling the front page, giving me this result. It's the peak of my UI performance right there. And when I finally moved to creating a base layout for my posts, I stumbled across this new issue. How can I style markdown files which are being converted to HTML during build? Issue is that I cannot style these files directly like you would normally do with any other page or component. I could create some global styles and try to create everything myself, but knowing my front-end skills, it would end drastically. I was scrolling and reading docs without any luck whatsoever. And then I saw this, Tailwind CSS, typography, a real lifesaver. It comes with a predefined styles, which will make my content look good. So without any hesitation, I added this into my project and look at the difference. I can't believe it. And the only thing I had to do was to add a tailoring dependency. My website is ready. The time has come to deploy it. And if you remember, we want this to be free. I didn't search long, since previously I have used Vercel, which has a free tier that I can use to host my website. Astro has a really nice and painless integration with Vercel, so I had no trouble here. Vercel has a really great feature where you can set up more than one environment, so I created a production environment, which is linked to my master branch on GitHub. Every time I push new commits to this branch, Vercel will automatically rebuild and redeploy deploy the newest version of my site. And also, I have created a test environment 
which is linked to my develop branch on GitHub. This way, I can test whether my changes didn't break something before altering my production site. Vercel creates a dedicated URL where I can see a preview of my changes. And when I'm happy with those, I merge my changes into master branch, making it a nice CICD pipeline. It will also rebuild and redeploy to the test environment my changes when I have an open merge request into develop branch and the Vercel bot is informing me of the current status, this makes my life so much easier. And with this, we came to an end. I addressed all of our key points and when working on this project, I had to overcome quite a few challenging problems, which taught me a lot of new things. I hope you liked this video and I would love to know what would you do differently. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.